Hey guys, what's up? So I'm going to do a quick video just to see what's going on. So you could be dealing with a Gemini. Um, there's a decision that needs to be made. I feel like you're on board with the situation, um, but somebody needs to kind of like step up their game and like join, like stand up for their rights kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. They're going to start working with you. They look at you as the empress, you know, wanting to give you everything you want and all that. Yeah, things are going to turn around. They're going to end up helping you. They're going to end up being there for you. They look at you as, you know, their wish fulfillment. So, let's see. Let's see what the energy is. Between the two of you. Let's see what the energy is. Between the two. Aw, love. <laughs> compassion. Yeah, somebody didn't have compassion in the past. Um, but like I said, it is turning around. Just go with the flow with everything. Don't try to judge yourself for the situation. This is part of your karma. Just stay in solitude. Just wait for it to come. Don't do anything stupid. Don't do any actions. Look at the situation in a new perspective. Something is coming together that you've been wanting. Yeah. <laughs> Synergy. Synergy means coming together. Two things coming together as a powerful thing. Um, just stay stay still. Stand in your power. Be grounded. And get ready for vulnerability. Because it's coming from somebody. And you're going to have to respond back with it. Yeah, there was a promise. Maybe around the new moon that happened. Um... Or the springtime um, of the rebirth. There's a rebirth. There was a rebirth. There's a promise that happened. Um, but the rebirth had already happened. Yeah, it's a new beginning. It's a new creation. Just nurture yourself during this. Don't be hard on yourself. Because things are going to be coming up to the table, okay? Just focus. Focus on yourself right now. Like I said, get a different perspective. Get um, closer to spirit. Pray. There you go. Love. Compassion. There you go. New beginnings. New beginnings, playful energy, um, new is pretty much what it's saying. What is it that you need to learn in this situation to help? Gratitude. Gratitude, attitude of gratitude. Be honest with yourself about what's really going on, about what you feel. Don't be indecisive. Once you are clear about what you, what you want and your intention... That's when things will come together. It will help you with be free. You know, forgiveness is a huge thing in this situation right now. Maybe you have to forgive somebody. You have to be vulnerable in that situation. Willing to forgive is the biggest thing. Forgiveness, unforgiveness is like the cancer of emotions. And it can actually create cancer within our bodies. It's crazy. But true. Okay. Yeah, this has to do with a relationship. Um... When you use the law of attraction, you really have to use your imagination and use it in a positive way and not worry about things, not coming into fruition. Instead, have the attitude of gratitude, okay? Yeah, just keep going. This is part of your purpose, okay? Have empathy for the other person in the situation because they obviously did what they did for a reason. Bring balance into the situation in every part of your life. It will bring peace. Stop with the regret. Stop with anything that happened to do with envy. Envious people, um, get them out of your life. Somebody could be envious of you, which had something to do with this situation not coming together. Just have the patience and, again, gratitude and friendship. Don't doubt the universe. Have the courage and accept what has happened, okay? Don't look at it as good or bad, and you're never alone. Success is going to be coming out of this situation. You just have to discipline your mind. Look at things from the lighter side. Yeah, death and rebirth. Death and rebirth is an, an ending brings a new beginning, okay? And that begins to change. Don't be in denial about the situation. And don't be in denial that it's not going to bring you abundance. And that you don't want this person in your life. Because they bring you happiness, okay? This is going to bring you growth in the relationship. Be honest with yourself about it. You always... The challenges are what brings you the success, you know, stop blaming yourself for the other person, surrender to the universe, stop with the guilt, don't have the pride, 
like have pride in yourself of being like happy within yourself, but don't have the pride within like it's going to get in the way of like your health, your mental state, your relationship, have the service for you and this other person. Um, if you are feel hopeless or helpless, go help somebody else, you know, trust the universe, work on your self-esteem. Don't fear anything. Stop being indecisive. You don't need to grieve anymore because the situation is over. The cycle has ended. Okay. There's no failure. Failure is not. <laughs> I love tarot cards. Failure is not an option. It's only an option if you give up and look at all things within love. So that was like the main energy. I love it. Okay. Here's a quick message. It's time to take action. You could be dealing with an Aries. You could also be dealing with... Gemini, Aries, Libra. I mean, yeah, I know Aries. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. That's what I meant to say. Yeah, expect powerful change. Step out of your comfort zone with the feeders. If we don't step out of our comfort zone, it's our comfort zone. You are good enough. Yeah, this could uh, you could be dealing with a Virgo as well. Um, you are good enough. A lot of the time we don't believe that we deserve what we want because we don't think we're good enough. But there is a fiery comp climax approaching. Step out of your comfort zone again. Step out of your comfort zone. There's a thing called North Node and South Node. Um, it's like your purpose in life. Like what you're here to do. Like for an example, like mine's Libra to Aquarius, right? <laughs> mine's Libra to Aquarius. So, I mean, Libra to Aries. So pretty much it goes from like me being like everybody else's crutch to me being the one who's in the spotlight, like the entrepreneur, like the one that is in the spotlight, like pretty much like instead of being behind everybody and boosting them up for their life and everything like that, like I'm the one that's boosting myself up instead and being the one that's shown. Um, we have the Morning Star, Electra, right? Yeah. I shoot for the stars. Radiance is my birthright. Yeah. See, like, you're supposed to be in the spotlight. You're supposed to step out of your comfort zone. You're supposed to know that you're good enough to have anything that you want. Okay. So then we have the mystic, Tegeta. Tegeta. Okay. I weave my magic and surrender to the universe. Exactly. Surrender right now. Okay. Especially if you're a twin flame. Atlas, father of the sky, God brings God. I release the weight of the world on my shoulders. Yeah, give it, give everything to God. Surrender. It's saying this right here too. Surrender. Okay, this has to do with magic as well. Um, obviously the morning star has to do with radiance. Like, you're very radiant right now. Um, Maya, the ancient grandmother. This is number one. Um, this could also be the magician, which is also Gemini, which means it's really manifesting right now. You're manifesting really fast right now. And the teacher that leaves with self-knowledge. Yeah, like, be very aware of your surroundings right now. I just want to see if this Radiance card comes up. Because that would be cool. Okay, you do need to release something. Which is where the forgiveness comes. Because things are changing. Things are going to become unveiled. You're going to see behind what's the secret. Is, but, oh, my dog farted. <laughs> About what's going to, what's really been going on. Okay. Yeah, purify your thoughts right now. I just want to see something. Let's see what it would be near. Eh, whatever. There is a completion to this, though. And blessings are right around the corner. Uh, this does have to do with breaking... There it is. <laughs> Radiance. <laughs> this does have to do with breaking cycles, though. Radiance. We're in the summer solstice. Well, summer is already here. We've, we're creating something right now. Just go with the flow. There is going to be a celebration. Like I said, this is part of your karma. There's a wake-up call. And you know it, okay? Just stay... Stay quiet, you know, because things are going to come to you. Being receiving mode right now. It has already been activated, the situation. This is what you just keep your keep your your vision of what it is you want. OK, the forgiveness needs to happen before anything else will come into play. The, the 
the talk, the communication, the message that you're waiting for. It's going to be effortless. Just stand in your power. Have the strength. Do not look back, okay? Things are coming to the surface again. Things are moving. I Like I said, there is a, commu there is a completion that's going to bring you harmony. Okay. Have a good day, guys.